Howdy guys, we've got a replay for you between Passion Deju and Farrock. Uh, okay, cool. So Farrock is somebody that most of y'all know. Um, he's a far more famous Battleforge YouTuber than I am. Um, and I don't know if I grabbed this replay because Farrock is in it or if it was just good. Um, Passion, I believe, is Sunwoo. Uh, I think this is his Pure Fire Smurf. He admitted it, I think. But... Uh, we'll call him Passion as my usual custom. All right, Farrock takes this and Passion takes this. Very standard, very miry. Um, presumably, we'll see Pure Fire versus uh, Fire Nature. Pa uh, fire Farrock takes an immediate second well. Um, this is a little bit risky. He's in danger of being rushed by Passion. I'm not sure if Passion plays Fire Tier 1 that often. Um, well, clearly Passion, this account is high high leveled. Um, so he's clearly good with it. I'm not sure if Sunwoo is as good with Passion as he is with his... I think he plays like Shadow normally. I don't even know what Sunwoo does. Um, and yeah, Farrakh is trying to stay up well. He's not building units. Um, I, I used to play like this a lot, but I think towards the end I, I sort of disagreed with this playstyle. Um, I think it's just a little bit too risky. Um, you know, if you're afraid of losing, I think it's a good way to play. Um, and it looks like, okay, uh, questionable eruption, actually not even questionable, just bad. Bad eruption. Farrakh, yeah. Um, I think it was a little bit of a misplay. Um, but, yeah, like, this is the type of thing that you're just sort of hoping that your opponent will misplay the rush, and I think Passion did that eruption. Um, that eruption was a lot of power, um, and he's just being like really slow to come this way. So, so Passion gave up the rush, and Farrakh's going to be fine being up a well here. But like I was saying, like, like this is this is a good thing. This is this sort of idea of taking walls immediately. Um, you, you do that sort of hoping that you'll get lucky and that your opponent will be a coward and won't rush you. Um, but as, as I found that as I climbed higher ranks, um, this sort of thing didn't really work. Uh, I heard a monument. Oh, there it is. There's Passion's monument. I didn't even realize he was building it. So Passion was faking out over here and decided to build his tier 2 here. And we've got... All of the ingredients for a successful cliff. Um, Skyfire Drake is a little bit unusual. Actually, pretty unusual, I'd say. Um, Skyfire Drakes are very good against Tier 1. Because um, they're very hard to counter. Sunshiders are really the only things that can counter them. Um, and it takes two Sunshiders and an Eruption to kill one Skyfire Drake. Or just two Eruptions. That works too. Um, and it's 150 for 150 power. So... Yeah, Fire can probably deal with Skyfire Drakes better than any of the other Tier 1 factions. We see Farrakh goes Tier 2 also immediately, and Farrakh has a little bit better ground control than Passion, I think. Um, also note the Fire Nature. Uh, I'm familiar with this deck more than most of the stuff I cast. Uh, this spot is susceptible because it's this walking up. So Farrakh decides to spend his 25 power now, so he doesn't have to worry about it later. Um, again, I think that's just a little bit, maybe not aggressive enough. He's not pushing very hard. Um, he does take this this power well. Uh, so Farrakh has four extra power wells, and Passion also has four extra power wells. So I suspect Farrakh will grab this one as soon as he can, because that's how Farrakh likes to play. Um, he likes to just take all the power wells he can, which is... Um, it's slightly, I don't know, slightly paradoxical of Fire Nature because Fire Nature, I think, is one of the best decks for setting the pace of the game um, in that, you know, you you can sort of decide when other people and yourself want to take Power Balls. Um, but the problem is that Fire Nature doesn't scale up in high power as well as some other factions. Um, this attack by Farrakh is going very strong. Um, he almost missed micro a little bit. Yeah, this is going to drop. 
Um, oh, Farrakh should have eruptioned. He thought he could survive, but he didn't. He didn't make it. He should have eruptioned that. Um, oh man, slight might. Okay, it might still drop. We're we gonna see double eruption by passion or a shot eruption. There he goes. Oh, yep, the heal just to get one more shot off, and there it does drop. Um, as I was saying a little earlier, fire nature. In my opinion, I mean, I play it a lot, so I'm a little biased. I think it's one of the better decks for setting the pace of the match and deciding, like, when you want to take power walls and when you don't want your opponent to take power walls. Um, so Farrakh's idea of taking all the power walls he can get, um, he's, he's pretty safe to do that, I think. But the problem is that, you know, Pure Fire scales up better than Fire Nature does. Just, you know, Pure Fire has Juggernaut's Tier 3. Um, which is probably the most efficient power cost tier 3 in the game. If you can get a whole bunch of Juggernauts out, there's just, like, nothing that another faction can do to stop you. Lost Souls can also, uh, scale up in tier 3 very well. Um, usually because they've got large tier 3 armies. But, um, there's really nothing that Fire Nature has that will beat a pure fire tier 3. Um, assuming equal power levels. And it... Well, especially assuming equal power levels with uh, lots of power. Um, the eruption here was interesting. Okay, it's still going to drop. Okay. Um, good by Passion to, to take this well down. So now they're even on power, I think. Um, looks like Farak is just going to push around with this Enforcer. They're doing a little dance. Um, Skyfire Drake, mostly because it's going to just be useful in the future. It looks like he's going to... Try and force out a gladi. Yeah, there he goes to force out the gladi, and now he can run away and hit something else. Uh, or he could micro. Okay, okay. Um, interesting eruption. Uh, the Skyfire Drake needs to pull out, or he's, he's already can be erupted. Passion doesn't have power, otherwise, he should erupt him. Alright, got a little lucky there. Um, let me see the roots. Uh, yeah, that was silly. Sorry, Varrock. Yeah, that was silly to attack the Gladiator Drake so we just ravaged Skyfire Drake after you went through the trouble of rooting him. Um, meanwhile, we've got a little bit of attack by Passion over here. I'm sorry I didn't feature that. Didn't feature that guy coming over here. But yeah, Varrock's getting clipped. Uh, Uro problems. Uh, but Varrock is applying the pressure here, and this will drop. Especially if the eruptions. Okay, it drops without the eruption. Um, and it looks like he does hold over here because Passion's saving up his power. Um, a wildfire. I didn't see the. I didn't see the health, but I feel like a wildfire would have done well. Um, we had an eruption and an oink. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a double eruption would have been worth it. Um, we've got the roots. Um, Farrakh CCs a lot more than I do. Perhaps that's personal preference. Uh, I noticed that high tech also CCs a lot more than I do, but I think high tech CCs somewhere between me and Farrakh. So maybe I don't CC enough and Farrakh CCs a little too much. Um, or maybe it's all just personal preference and, you know. At any rate, take it for what it's worth, I think. Farrakh CCs a little bit too much. Um, but he is doing a good job of... Okay, there we go. This will drop. Uh, or maybe not. Will it drop? Will it? Will it? It looks like it won't. Oh, is it going to be super close? Oh, it does drop. Okay, just barely. Wow. Um, I don't know my 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 cards anymore, especially the non-Fire Nature cards. But I wonder if Farrakh could have spawned a unit to help absorb that damage from the wildfire and if that would have saved his power wells. I don't know. Somebody should let me know if that would have worked. Or maybe I could look it up and I'll post in the comments below. Um, at any rate, we see that this well keeps dying from Farrakh, uh, but this well keeps dying from Passion. So overall, it seems to be fairly equal. Um, Farrakh's got a good bit on the field, 
And it looks like Passion is itching to go tier 3. Do we have any units? We got this this Scaffire Drake sitting here. Uh, we've got Sunshiders uh, because they're fast and they're S counters. Uh, great Lava Field. Um, yeah, just Great Lava Field. He should erupt this now, or too late now. Um, yep. Uh, wildfire, good, good, good. Um, the healing, yep. Um, yeah, Farrox launching a, a good offensive here. Um, for really preventing Passion from going tier 3. And Passion basically spent all the power. Okay, looks like Farrox gonna win this. Um, good job from Farrox. Just timing the attack correctly and, um, you know, doing it when Fire couldn't defend. Good job, Farrok. Um, the match appears to continue going. So we'll see what Passion has in store. He does have 300 power. So it's possible we could see Passion, you know, insta tier 3. Looks like that's what he's trying for, is an insta tier 3. Um, usually this doesn't work unless your opponent misplays it. Um, I don't think Far Rock will misplay it, but perhaps he will. We've got the Burrowers coming. It's like quintessential, quintessential Fire Nature attack force. Ghost Spears for MNS counter, Burrowers for uh, Siege, and Skyfire Drakes because Skyfire Drakes are just OP. And they munch on M units, which is the usual. The usual usual units. Oh, we've got a Juggernaut. Okay, so yeah, Passion's, Passion's tactic was to get that tier 3 up in just enough time to get a Juggernaut. And this monument does drop. Um, meanwhile, we've got the Juggernaut here doing things. Um, he stops because he's rooted. Um, good use of root from Far Rock, just trying to buy as much time as possible. Personally, I'd have made the Juggernaut over here, just because... That way he can't be rooted. Um, but Passion was probably more concerned about dealing with this Burrower problem before it escalated. Um, and yeah, Passion is still tier 2. That's the the advantages of playing... Uh, oh, Farox tier 3, by the way. Or he, No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Farox tier 3, sorry. Um... One of the beauties about playing a pure deck is that, um, that interesting. one of the beauties about playing a pure, de pure deck is that like you lose your second monument, like Passion. If you lost his second monument, he's left with his third. He's still at tier two. Um, whereas if you play three different orbs and you lose your second monument, so now you're at like this sort of half tier two, maybe. Or in worst cases, you're just straight down to tier one. Um, we got a lot of giant slayers. A wildfire would deal. Well, the, the orb is dead. Never mind. Um, we also see. Yeah, I think I think at this point, passion is sort of given up. Um, he's not really fighting. He started playing suboptimally, um, and yeah, it ended. Um, so yeah, good job from Farrock. A uh, little bit of questionable things here and there, but overall, I think this was a, a pretty solid match. See you on the next replay.